Hi, welcome to Storytime. Today we're going to be reading Mog's Christmas, a story about a little cat, Mog. And it's first Christmas. Mog's Christmas. One day, Mog woke up and nothing was right in her house. I hope you're able to see that. I wonder how Mog's feeling. Everybody was busy. Debbie was busy, Nikki was busy, Mr. and Mrs. Thomas were busy, and there were too many people in the house. There was a jolly uncle and two aunts on tiptoe. Mog thought, I don't like it here. She went out and sat on the windowsill. There was nothing to do and no one to play with, so after a while, she went to sleep. Suddenly, she woke up and saw something. It was a tree, a walking tree. <gasps> Uh-oh, look at her face. Oh no, she does not look happy. Mog thought tree, what, did I skip a page? Oh no. Mog thought trees don't walk. Trees should stay in one place. Once trees start walking about, anything might happen. She ran up the side of the house in case the tree should come and get her. Come down, shouted the tree. Come down, Mog. First it walked, thought Mog, and now it's shouting at me. I do not like that tree at all. And she ran up to the roof. The tree went on shouting for a while. Then it went in the house. Mog stayed on the roof. Some white things fell out of the sky. Some fell on the roof and some fell on Mog. They were very cool. At supper time, Mog was still on the roof. She must have her supper, said Debbie. Mog always has her supper. Mrs. Thomas gave Mog her supper, but still, Mog did not come down. I wonder how you think Mog might be feeling. On the roof all by herself. In the morning, Mog did not come down either. She had found a nice, tall place, and she was asleep, and she was having a lovely dream dream that she was sitting on a cloud and some white things were falling out of the sky. Mog tried to catch them. She was very happy, but suddenly the cloud began to melt. Do you notice what Mog is sitting on top of? What do you think that might be? On top of the house. It's melting and getting warm. Inside the house, everyone was sad because Mog would not come down either. They were too sad to eat their breakfast. Even the jolly uncle was sad, and one of the aunts cried. Suddenly, there was a noise in the chimney, and then something came down it. It came right down the chimney and fell into the fireplace with a thump. What do you think happened? You remember where Mog was sitting? It's Father Christmas, cried one of the ants. No, dear, said the other ant. Father Christmas does not have a tail. Debbie cried, it's Mog. Mog had to have a bath. But then, then everything was lovely. The whole house was lovely and the tree had stopped walking about and had made itself all pretty. And Mog had three boiled eggs and some turkey and a present to unwrap. Okay. Happy Christmas, Mog, said Debbie. She's giving him a hug. And that's the end of our story. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.